All right, people. Let's get started. What's going on, folks? Welcome back to another video. It is whew, it is directly the day after I uploaded my last vlog, so I guess this is kind of chronological. Usually my vlogs are like thrown around and, and the time frames are all over the place, but this is the first time that it's actually hopefully working out well the way I structured things. So I just got back from a little ride. I'm actually finding with uh, the tyrosine supplementation, I feel like I'm more, uh, I just have more general like motivation to, to do other things and that's without me taking my ADHD medication. Which usually it feels like I have like a motivation IV in me and I actually haven't taken it in about a week and uh, it's weird because I feel like I don't even really need to take it. I, I automatically just, my mind is, is going like a normal mind should go. Writing right now is actually awesome because I feel like I want to start doing it more as opposed to just two or three times a week. I'm actually going to be going into train legs right now. Last week I did 365 for three or four. I can't really remember right now, but I'm going to move up the weight this week and see how 370 feels. And if it feels pretty good, I'm going to keep it there, do some top sets at 370. That's a lot of weight. My end goal for this year is to hit four plates. I'd love to hit four plates by, I mean, I was gearing for December, but might just have to, I mean, depending on how things go, if I can say injury free, I'd like to just keep that for like a, a summer goal maybe. I'm also going to be heading in over to Best Buy. I've had this camera, this is the camera that I first started doing challenges with. I bought this back in 2014, like the summer of 2014, and this was like my first upgrade. And I'm going to be upgrading to the Canon G7X Mark II, uh, just because this one is actually like broken. It's just like, it doesn't even work anymore. You can see like, watch whenever it opens. Like it doesn't even fully open because I've dropped it so many times, but we're going to see how things go today. Hopefully squats don't kill me and <laughs> um, yeah, I will see you guys. Well, actually I'm going to get some food first, so we got to do that, of course. Well, I'm amped to go squat and hopefully get another PR. I can't believe I'm actually thinking about going for multiple sets of 370. So let's hope things go right and uh, yeah. Let's go grow that booty.
so amped on that. 370 pounds for a 4x3. Uh, four sets, three reps each. I am stoked about how that went. I did some sumo work after that, and uh, I'm there's nothing really else for me to say, guys. I, my form did break out in the last breakdown. I should say in the last two to three, no, last three, third set and the fourth set. My form, my form went eh, a little iffy, but I found that uh, my, when I my stance is it's it's kind of weird to have a narrow stance when you low bar squat, but I'm happy with the way things went, and I'm just. Yeah, I'm stoked about it. I'm actually gonna head up now and go check and see if my camera is in the Best Buy up north. It's gonna take me a while to get there, but I'm stoked to get it so I can actually vlog with a camera that's not like massive. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be great for challenges and stuff. So I will see you guys a little bit later. All right, guys, so I am home from the gym and I'm home from Best Buy <clears throat> right now. So unfortunately they, well, let's just say I got my camera. This is the Canon G7X Mark II. This is the upgrade from the other camera that I have that I thought I had nearby. I could show you guys for comparison purposes, but I don't. So I got that. And you guys know the microphone I got in my last video. Well, guess who lost that on the plane? <laughs> I did file a little uh, missing uh, item sheet, but they haven't found it. It's been a week, so I decided to go ahead and get this. So if it does happen to get found, I'll just go ahead and return this one. But I lost it, so I had to get microphone for this camera that you guys are seeing this on right now and I did go to the store this is all really boring shit but I thought I would just show you guys what I got anyways just because I have to I don't really have to oh it's I'm actually going to try out some green beans I still love these uh, these are frozen green beans I'm going to try this tonight to go with my Brussels sprouts of course uh, some lettuce what's really new Eric nothing is new because you don't get new stuff car master and then this stuff peanut powder is really good and oatmeal I like that a lot and I got some sugar-free jam to go with my bread uh, for breakfast every day. And then, last but not least, some cream cheese. That's it, guys. I'm going to go open that up, and I will see you guys a little bit later. So, once again, here is the old camera that I've used to. I, I've been filming the majority of my uh, footage on. This is the camera that made my YouTube career. The main, like, difference, like, that I noticed right when I was getting this pretty much like the same camera except it's got like this little like area you can like hold the camera right there so I'm really excited about this. If you guys don't know I spend a lot of time on my thumbnails and I always take my thumbnails or was always used to taking my thumbnails with this camera and the biggest thing that's able to like help out with all this is that you can turn the camera on and then you basically can autofocus wherever you want it to autofocus so if you like if you look Autofocus is like right there versus like, see, I'm, you, see, you see you guys right there. Like I want to focus on that. I just press that. The difference that I'm already seeing right here is that this screen will actually tilt like that. So if I was doing like an overhead shot like this, it would it would matter. Uh, but honestly, it really just doesn't matter too much. I'm actually really excited to to get into using this. So let's do that thing right now. Or like a trans. Actually, I don't think I've done a transition like this on this channel. But let's do that right now. See, so but so I'm basically teleporting from like this camera to this camera. So now you guys can see here we are um, this is actually really it's weird because I like shooting with this camera a lot because it's just so like clear I mean I like the other camera but guys honestly like fucking look at this thing it's massive I've been lugging this giant Canon 60 Mark II just look how pretty it is though it's so beautiful I've been lugging this thing around to the gym um, I really like the quality that this picture is producing right now. Uh, I've been lugging this to the gym along with this, well, actually not the tripod, but this, this camera weighs, with this, probably about five pounds. So I've basically been throwing that into a gym bag, and now I just have this little thing right here. So cool thing about this is it actually, it's a lot easier to not just carry around, but it feels like, I don't know, I just like knowing, like, the picture that I'm giving to you guys. It's just weird because, like, when I look at you, or when I'm trying to like see how it looks and I'm like looking at, I'm looking up and I just don't, I'm not making sense right now, but <laughs> this is cool. I'm liking it. There we go. There's some this back. Every single night I make dinner and I sit down and watch Netflix. I'm on the... Seventh episode of 13 Reasons Why. Second season. It's been absolutely amazing so far. What do you guys think about the new? I love I'm asking you guys all questions now. I feel like I'm, I feel like such a vlogger right now. This is crazy. But what do you guys think about the new seasons season of 13 Reasons Why? I thought it's, I'm thinking it's it's pretty epic. Those green beans, though. Look at those green beans. Yeah. 
Green beans, yum. Green beans, onions, some chicken. If this autofocus is gonna suck like this, we're gonna have major problems, dude. Major fucking problems. Hi, focus, no, maybe. It's about to, I'm actually going to a wedding. That... Every single time that I use this stupid ass air fryer, it sets off the alarm. Yes, my window's open. I don't know why it does this. This is uh, squat fuel, post squat fuel. The next day. Alrighty, so it is Friday. I'm actually about to, I got home from a ride just now. I'm about to head over to do some overhead pressing. I don't know how it's gonna go. Last week I did 145 for three, a few sets of three, so I wanna increase it to 150 this week and see how it goes, but I just did about 30 miles on the bike, so we'll see how that goes. But I've been getting strength even with the bike rides and stuff, so <sighs> let's see how this goes. I don't even know what to say people that was great uh 150 flew up for three i i i want to say i want to call it like a it was probably like a seven or eight rpe wise it did not feel that heavy at all uh moved up to 155 after that which is a 10 pound pr for three reps and then unfortunately this camera all right guys so i just got back from the store i'll get into the groceries in a second i mean these pants aren't really that bad they just khaki pants so I don't really even need to take those out of the back for you. I do want to stress though, hydration is extremely important, especially after the big challenges did. I've been really, I've been taking about down about a gallon to gallon and a half, sometimes two gallons of water a day. That really helps get the bloating and just, it, it really helps get all the food out of your system and makes you just feel better. So I highly recommend, even if you guys aren't doing challenges and you don't do food challenges, water really helps. I'm going to be trying this out tonight. This is the sea salt caramel enlightened i have never had this flavor before so i'm really excited to give that a shot and vegetables those are onions right there and then i'm trying out this carb master i actually usually use carb master yogurt but this is the cottage cheese i usually dip usually yeah dip apples and stuff in it and it's really really good um i got some pears because i never eat pears or fruit of any kind heavy sarcasm uh potatoes probably throw those in the uh air fryer tonight lettuce some more cottage cheese and Powerade Zero, I used to drink this all the time. I'm actually probably gonna go train early tomorrow in the morning and then head up to LA. So I like to drink these when I, I drive after I, I train. Um, and then some pizza sauce, really random, but that is it for the grocery haul, guys. I'll see you in the next part of the video. So, it's not good, it's my phone. This is the Enlightened Sea Salt Caramel. I'm about to try this out right now, do a little live stream. We're having some fun tonight. The center is just kind of like, it's always still rock hard by like that. Um, but other than that, it's good. Dear God Almighty. Dude, this is fucking blowing my mind. We're at 900. Oh, someone just unsubscribed, you fucking asshole. Dude, if I hit 400k during the stream, I would legitimately fucking lose my shit. This would be, this would be nuts right now. Moments later. What I'm trying to get though, like, really though, guys, I'm gonna stand up on my chair right now and hopefully I don't fall. But, pardon my tan line right now. But I really, 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 really like it if my legs were bigger. Okay, so. Oh my goodness, 39. Oh! We're done. 400,000. The next day.
absolutely insane guys that was crazy especially after last night i was definitely not expecting to hit any prs today i hit an all-time pr for conventional deadlifts 425 pounds for three reps absolutely insane i was almost about to say sets there um i've never ever been this strong on my conventional pulls it's insane um i hit 405 for three and I was actually just gonna mess around with 405 for three sets today and I moved up to 415. I was like, you know what, why not hit 425? And so I did that. It's time to go up and drive to LA. My friend Kevin Ross and his wedding and everything. That's why I'm dressed semi-nice. Uh, <laughs> so I'm gonna be driving up there. The next day. Find your path and grow with us. Well, alrighty guys, so that was rather interesting. Sundays are just really easy going for me. Hey, uh, right now I gotta, I gotta get my hair cut. I mean, it's kind of different. I don't know what's going on in the back, but I just have to take a shower, but that's the new haircut, people. I know, like, I just wanna put you guys in the videos, man. Like, come on, man. People, we're gonna actually, we're gonna, we're gonna make some, we're gonna make some fucking dinner tonight. You drop some potatoes in there, just like so, but the okay. Sorry. potatoes. Yep, so um, it's got a garlic chunk on it. We got some garlic salt. Potatoes are amazing. I feel like I'm Sam from Lord of the Rings because I get to say potatoes. It's really hard to fuck up potatoes, guys. The next day. All right, guys, so it is Monday. I'm heading in to go deadlift right now. I got some food that I've been making. Admittedly, today I'm feeling a little tired. I really get much sleep last night, but I'm in, I've been making really good progress, so I want to keep consistent, keep hammering away. I'm going to try to go for 435 today and see how it goes. Yeah. Well, everybody, I could go on a huge rant right now about just everything in general, but the fact of the matter is that was a great workout. That was a great session. I went into this training session with zero expectations at all. I actually didn't think I would be able to get 405 off the ground at all just because I deadlifted about two days ago. I hit 425 for three reps. I'm a conventional deadlift. And um, I went for 435 today because I was gonna be a five pound PR and your goal every single week is a power lifter to at least gain strength is to progressively overload every single week and I did that. So uh, just looking back at past footage and, and seeing how things have, have even slightly progressed over the past few weeks, uh, just it's been really motivating for me. I Just going into days like today where you don't have m expectations at all to, to perform or make any progress and then you just end up surprising yourself and that's why I continue to do this and that's why I continue to, that's why I actually just love the fuck out of the sport. And uh, you know, I've had many bad days over the past six months with powerlifting but I actually just did a podcast talking about, you know, the, the whole uh, process of, of, of achieving what you want to achieve. My long-term goal is to be able to deadlift five plates. Like tomorrow, if I walked into the gym and I just pulled five plates. I don't think I'd get enough satisfaction out of that. I just love setting these little small goals and, and, and gradually getting to them every single week or every other week. And I feel like that's what I love most about powerlifting is just like I can get so excited about uh, just being, uh, just going into the gym and, and su surprising myself and, and doing that every single week. Um, I'm just super motivated right now. And I, today my energy levels, <laughs> my energy right now is probably like a, earlier, I, I am myself up to about a six right now. I'm out of three and uh, if like I don't know I, I feel like you know I had a long weekend this weekend rode my bike yesterday and um, you know it, it's really from, from I'm, I'm surprising myself a lot right now and I'm more motivated than ever to get just keep getting strength keep getting stronger and um, you know that's why I, I love doing what I do so 
that's gonna be the last part of this video guys I wanted to show you guys how everything went and just show you how uh, motivated I am right now to to get better to keep making progress and uh, you know getting getting things going again so if you guys have enjoyed every single vlog and you guys want to see more stuff just let me know I, I don't really know what I'm doing this channel anymore to be honest but I'm gonna keep posting videos and keep posting powerlifting content and um, doing whatever the fuck I want to do because it's my channel so if you guys do it if you guys love everything hit me up down below leave a comment love you guys